dawn of the second day. Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Dig Make. I'm your host, TPC Gamer, and in our last episode, I made it through an entire day without getting blown up, thus surpassing every expectation I had about how well I was going to do with this project. Now, it is mostly due to the incredibly lucky spawn I had, which meant I began my game beside two villages, the second of which I am now about to plunder, because that is my right as the main character. I mean, villages don't have tons of amazing things, but some amazing things are better than no amazing things, so let's go. Like, let's steal this wheat before anyone else notices. Yeah, being the main character is great, you guys. You get to do all kinds of... Wait, what? Oh, hey, Skeleton Man. How's it going? So, in this game, zom well, zombies and skeletons burn and die when they are in sunlight. You probably knew that. I mean, this guy knew that, which is why he chose to hide in the water to keep himself alive a little longer. Presumably so that I could finish him off. You see, now I'm justified in stealing that wheat. I saved a farm, so... You know, mine. Oh, and where are you going? That guy's the armorer. I like how he looks like a bouncer with this tile set, you know. Ooh! Ooh! I like how he has some armor and swords available, too. I will have that. Right, just gonna get rid of that zombie meat. No need for any of that, now that I have several farms from which I can get my food. And now, I'm going to scout around a little bit. See if we can find any... Well... No, actually, I'm going to put this fire out first of all. There we go. That's a good way to burn the entire world to the ground. And that's something we'll be saving for when I eventually die. For now, I'm going to do some exploring, see if we can find some... Mushrooms, ideally. Maybe an obvious entrance to a pit. Oh, what do you know? Giant mushroom from nowhere. <laughs> okay, so the PC version of Minecraft. The world keeps going on forever and it's a lot more logically consistent because of it. So the terrain is grouped in biomes, so you find nothing but desert, and then nothing but forest, then nothing but tundra, and so on. Now your console version doesn't do that, you only get one map, but it tries to include elements from as many of the 40 biome designs as you can, so you get stuff like that. Just a giant mushroom out in the middle of nowhere, or one birch tree in the middle of a jungle, or whatever. Oh, and it's a shame I only found this now. I wanted to set up a house at the top of a giant flat mushroom like that one. I mean, no reason in particular, I just want to live on top of a giant mushroom. Did that in one of my other save games. Found an island full of giant mushrooms and made houses out of the little red cap ones. And the people who live there are probably communicating with the ancestors 24-7. <laughs> Gotta be honest. That or they're all, like, gnomes, or whatever. Or the astronauts! but pretty much nobody's going to get that reference, so let's just move along. Also, I don't know if it's like this in the PC version, but the console version, the map only fills in if you have it in your hand as you travel. And that's a shame, because it looks like you're holding a giant tea tray as you explore. And it has only just dawned on me that you can't make tea in this game. Like, you can make cake and biscuits, both of which are perfectly good companions for tea, but you cannot make tea. Minus 69,105 out of 10, worst game ever, would not recommend. Yeah, anyway, um, kinda sad I didn't find any red mushrooms. <laughs> but we got some brown ones, so that is a start. And I've done exploring for now, so we'll do some more of that later. Now, I am going to, well, get rid of this sandstone brick, and mine, probably. In Minecraft, who knew, right? Such a novel idea, you know? Better be, because I got it from a book. Alright, just patch that up. Any steps I take towards not falling into a pit and dying is a pretty good start. So now let's walk into a pit and die. Hopefully not, though. Definitely not if I can't remember where the stairs are. Wait, no, it's Minecraft. I would just make some more. You see, this is one of the few gripes that I have with this game. The game can generate temples that are full of traps, and you have to be super careful not to fall into them and get killed. Or, you know, 
mine one brick to the left and bypass them entirely to get the treasure. And I know that that's me being sent on no fun over here, and I'm not playing this game properly, but it just seems like taking an unnecessary risk, you know? And speaking of, there'd better be some decent resources down here now that I've built my house next to it. And I know it's not a house, it's more like a really thick fence right now, but you know what I mean. Okay, and now we're ready to get out. Just watch me find the natural exit when I come to leave. I will never use those steps again. Oh. I thought I got this one last time. I know I talked about it. But that doesn't really mean anything. I, I talk about a lot of stuff, but very little of it comes to fruition. Just ask my seven novels and four video games. And my award-winning cartoon show. I don't know, I just went out of steam after a while. Get convinced I've created nothing but garbage, and move on to something else. Like, do you have any idea how weird it is that I started making these videos, and I stuck with them for seven years? And since when do you spawn one block of coal, game? That is not a lot. I'm gonna have to get creative when I start forging things. Yeah, but that's alright, I will be able to work something out, I'm sure. I just say it with confidence enough times, and eventually it will come true. Yeah, I'm not going any further down there until I have some torches. Oh, damn, I hope that bit showed up in the video. <laughs> My TV is absurdly bright, so I could still see what I was doing. And I, I hope you could too. And if not, then I hope you enjoyed staring at the HUD for a while. Right, patch you up, and let's go. So, I'll be honest, right? I don't know the properties of a lot of the blocks in this game, especially when it comes to what will and won't burn. So, I'm going to have to experiment. That's not the button. I always forget which one switches the camera and which one crouches. Oh, and once again, now I won't starve. Oh, and I have an apple as well. I totally forgot about that. It's kind of obvious that I'm not used to dealing with the hunger gauge, isn't it? Right. Current goals. Work on smelting the iron we just found. And... Make a bed, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. You can burn wooden tools for a quick burst of fuel. And it also helps with my weird compulsion to keep the game world as uncluttered as I can. Because it takes a while for the game to despawn items that you throw away naturally. I suppose I could just pick up a cactus and use it as a bin or something, but... We'll put that on the ever-expanding to-do list, because right now, I need more wood for fuel, and also for torches. Oh, and carrots are made out of wood, by the way. It, it's one of the lesser-known facts about that particular variety of the garden vegetable. Like, have you ever heard the story that carrots help you to see in the dark? That's how. You set fire to them, and then they light the way. Yeah. I'm not lying. Hey, places in the world that aren't England, do you guys do the thing where carrots help you see in the dark? Because in England, we tell that to our kids so they'll eat their vegetables. Like it's a cunning ruse. Wait a second, do I want this tree? No, I don't. I want this one over here. Yeah. You see, when this game first came out, there was only one kind of wooden plank texture, so I got used to just cutting down whatever trees were right there in front of me, but they've changed that so that every kind of tree gives you a different colour and or design. And since I cannot be doing with inconsistent designs, I have to go for the same kind of tree every time. Oh, and speaking of which, apparently that is an acacia tree. And that's a new addition to the game since the last time I played it. And I just watch all the PC gamers roll their eyes because it's been in their version forever. But I'm C PC Gamer. I'm meant to be behind the times. Oh, hey, sheep, how's it going? I'll be back for you... Well, now, actually, because I've probably got enough iron ready to make shears. Isn't that thrilling? And maybe one day, I'll get around to replanting the wheat that that skeleton ruined. Isn't that tilling? <laughs> okay, seriously, though, puns aside, isn't that tilling? I don't know. I, mean, I, I went to an agricultural high school in the middle of six farms, but we didn't actually do any agricultural stuff. We just went home smelling like manure every day, so I don't know what tilling is beyond something that happens on a farm. Isn't that chilling? 
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm done with that now. <laughs> Although, speaking of agricultural things... Yes, there we go. I am going to make some shears. Now, to go out and find those sheep. I said it at the start of the video, but I'm glad I was lucky as I was with the spawn in this game. Like, not only do I have food and shelter right there, but I have animals enough to get all the resources I need. Alright, that was one. I need two more to make a bed. And eventually I'll carpet my house with it, but for now I'm... Yep, that's three. Back to the house so I can throw a bed together. I hope that was every bit as thrilling as the two super bad puns hyped it up to be. And if not, then... Relax and have a slice of cake isn't that filling. Right, first things first, making my bed. Oh, and in good time, apparently, because it looks like the sun's going to be going down pretty soon. Right, you can go... there. Now, while we wait for the end of the day, let's not actually craft. Let's see how the charcoal's doing. Yeah, I can appreciate this is a horribly inefficient way of doing things, because I'm not getting much out for what I'm putting in, but it's wood. It's a renewable energy resource. Fun thing, not too long ago, an English politician said that renewable energy is all well and good, but what happens when it runs out? Now, if you want to look at that literally, then she has a point. Because, I mean, solar power is great, but I think it's going to be a problem for humanity when the sun explodes. Now, you may laugh, dear viewer, but it's coming. And then where will you be? Yeah, think about it. And in the meantime, we are going to get swamped by monsters pretty soon. And where I'm going to be is in my house baking bread and getting rid of some of the stuff that I don't need. Oh man, speaking of... No, actually no, I will explain this one first. Monsters spawn at night and they come to kill you. This is generally bad and something you want to avoid. But if you have a bed, you can skip straight to the morning at which point every monster in the overworld catches fire and dies. Except for creepers, because they are jerks. Although... With that said, I don't see any pillars of fire. So, I don't think there were any monsters up here to begin with. Right, so the story I was going to tell you. Some friends and I were playing Minecraft, except one of them had a, such a low connection speed that he couldn't join the actual mining part, so he was basically everyone's wife. Like, he, he stayed at home, and he made the pack lunches, made the toolkits. That was great. And surprisingly, that guy was not me. Because that's usually my role in team games. I take support. Like, I can't win, necessarily, but I can stand on the sidelines and help everyone else do it. And that's usually my role in real life, too. Now take that as being good or bad as you will. To me, it simply is. And that's weird. I thought I picked up a sapling at some point. Ah, well. Alright, now I'm going to get some charcoal, make some torches, and finally do a decent amount of mining. Because thus far, it's mostly been woodworking with CPC Gamer. And that is not a series that I'm prepared to make. I mean, you're more likely to see, like, woodworking with CPC Gamer's dad. Which sounds like I'm having a go at my dad, but he's an actual woodworking teacher, so it's more like a keen observation of relevance only to me. Also, I forgot I didn't have sticks. Good going, Andy. But yeah, in the past 30 plus years, my dad's been building stuff out of wood as a hobby and a profession. Like, I had a bunch of unique and handmade toys when I was younger. And a couple of years back, when a friend of mine was pregnant, I sent her some of the wooden race cars that Dad had made for me, and that I had played with that morning, and I sent them along for her baby. And it felt good, man. Right. Let's dig. Hopefully, the lucky streak I've had will continue, and I will stumble headfirst into a million diamonds, and a chest containing the plus four, plus four armor of kick-ass! Now, what I'm actually looking for is, well, structures. Because I mean, you're meant to be looking for diamonds, 
which lead to Obsidian, which leads to the Nether, and it basically sets off a chain that leads you all the way to the end of the game. But I don't want to go to the end of the game. I don't know, I never felt the urge. Like, I get quite enough fun out of just screwing around and building stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Explore and build and try not to get exploded in. But to step back, I really hope I find one of the natural structures in this pit. Or any pit, really. Like, you can find tunnel networks, dungeons or fortresses, and they all have their own uses in the game. But it's more fun to just... Like, speculate wildly. <laughs> and I'm going this way. Now, we're not going to go too deep just yet, if only because my tools aren't enough to carry me very far. So, I mean, I suppose a more reasonable short-term goal would be to find some more iron ore. And then a fortress when I have a decent loadout. He says, as if you could just wander off and find something like that. Uh, it's one of the few times that I'm glad the console version's in-game world is limited to a single biome, because I would get horribly lost if I could just go in a single direction forever. Actually, what is down here? No harm in scouting it out, at the very least. No, I think that's just a route back to the surface. Ah, and so it was! Alright. Moving swiftly along. Oh! Hey, fella, how's it going? Yeah, that's what you get. Now that you know that it is not okay to be a spider. Especially not one that you could comfortably ride upon. Because that's the kind of thing that makes me think there is just not enough napalm in this world. Ooh, now this is a nice little cache. There's actually a fair amount of iron ore, so we'll be able to build the basics and one or two little extras. Nice. Right, I think we will get this little vein and head back to the surface to fortify and improve. We're gonna move past the Stone Age. Appropriately, right? Because I'm part of this pub quiz team, and every week we name ourselves Stonehenge or some variation thereof. So we've had, like, the sensational Shehenge, Stonehenge minus one, Freddy's Rehenge. That last one was mine, and I'm very impressed with it, by the way. Also, I know I took a circuitous route to get out of the pit, but I don't want to leave my torches behind. You think wooden charcoal just grows on trees? Ha! Anyway, one of our last team names was Bronze Henge, because we actually did kind of... well, the previous week. So we are evolving and growing. Did anybody else just see something glitch across the map, or am I going mad? It's finally happened. Oh dear. Seriously though, what was that? I think I'm gonna have to take a look at that in post or something. Anyway, I'm just gonna have a quick snack, and... Yes, I have noticed that I have a sapling in my inventory. Not entirely sure where it came from, or why I didn't notice it before, but... What the heck? Let's move these torches and go plant a tree. Let's go plant several trees, in fact. Conservation! Ho! And... I don't know. There. I did a good thing today. What else? Oh yeah! Something just came back to me. I always keep my torches in slot 7 for some reason. I don't know. I use a pickaxe the most, as do we all, and it's just easier for me to shuffle three slots left to the torch than three right back to the pick. And that's going to make future mining expeditions a lot less painful for people who are familiar and competent with the game. I, mean, I can't say much about the rest of the video content, but, you know. Right, I think I'm done out there for today. Let's get back to my little shack. And I don't think I can burn my pick, so let's head up there and into the abyss it goes! See ya! Because I'm gonna go this way and build a superior model iron pick. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I'm starting to relearn my bizarre inventory layout as I'm doing this. Next, let's get rid of some of this sand and fill in some of these dunes. You can't use sand for a great deal, and I really do feel like to feel like I'm prettying the place up, you know? 
Maybe I'll set up a water feature or a park or... Well, heck, the possibilities are several. Oh, hey, roadblock. I meant to do that. And the fact that I corrected your position is irrelevant. Right, now you can hardly see the join. How's my iron doing? I really do wonder what I saw up there. <laughs> Probably nothing. Right. Some of those. And some of those. Actually, no. Let's make some armor, how about? Let's maybe do some self-preservation in this no-death run, you know? Do I want some shoes? Nah, I don't think I want shoes. I'll be fine. Right, that's just about it for this episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, there we go! Mouse look! Man, I am one sharp-dressed guy. So join us next time for some more of this, and until next time, goodbye!